So magnet fishing is nothing but having a big magnet and a rope and tossing it into a body of water and seeing what you pull up. And you'd be amazed at what you can find. There's so much trash and treasure, um, bikes, shopping carts, guns, artifacts, you name it, you can find it. There's some father-daughter teams out there. There's couples like us, grandparents and getting the grandkids out. Relatively inexpensive. It's almost like uh, metal detecting. I got involved um, during the pandemic. I know a lot of people were watching YouTube and TikTok and I started seeing magnet fishing on social media. And I saw it and I was interested and I said, you know what, I'd like to try that. And then I guess I've always been looking for something to create videos and uh, content create. And so I put two and two together and started a magnet fishing YouTube channel. Uh, I was honestly shocked that I got into it as much as I did. I, the first time he ever did, I was kind of like, well, that's a little of a weird hobby and watched some of his videos. And I was like, oh, okay. And then he took me out one day and the first time I was just like hooked. Um, I feel it's like the thrill of the finds. Like you throw out and you feel, you can feel the magnet like attract something. You can feel it kind of click on almost like you can with fishing. And it's kind of like, oh snap, what do I have? So you're kind of like pulling it up and seeing if it's really heavy, then you're like, oh, I've definitely got something big. That's awesome. Really, it's, I enjoy it. It's a hobby. It's something to do. You're cleaning the environment. I enjoy taking all the metal that I find and taking it to the scrap yard and getting a little extra money. And just some of the, the cool things I've found and people I've met along the way have really, really been cool. People can learn things from watching you magnet fish and I, I learn a ton of things from watching other magnet fishers. And there's kind of a, there's a community on YouTube and there's actually a group of us that we keep in touch and there's a camaraderie to it. We went to Florida and met up with some um, other YouTubers there. We went to New York and visited some family and met up with YouTubers there. We're just kind of making friends along the way, so that's really cool. Anything uh, ferrous is gonna, gonna attract right to it. And you gotta be careful with these big magnets. Uh, if you get your hand between this and something magnetic, it can, it can definitely break your hand and smash your fingers. Always recommend you wear gloves. You never know, fishing hooks, sharp pieces of metal, It's, it's good for the water because you're getting the rusty metal out. Fishers love us because we clean the obstacles and stuff out of the water. I mean, I can't tell you how many things that I've found with fishing lures and fishing line all over them. It's just a lot of people throw things in the water that shouldn't be there. And it's, it's hazards for boats, people swimming, people fishing. Um, I like the motto that a lot of magnet fishers kind of took on is leave every place better than how you found it. So we show up, if there's trash laying around or other magnet fishers have been there, they leave their things. We always make sure to clean up after them too. Some of the coolest things I've found so far, definitely I found that anchor out in Suffolk and they think that's a late 1700s, early 1800s anchor. And actually just last week I had to turn that over to the state. Uh, the Virginia Department of Historic Resources actually came and I donated the anchor to them they are taking it to wet storage up in Richmond where their facility is and then it's going to go to a relic lab in Maryland and it's going to have to be in a hydrolysis tank for two years. And then they might try to get it back in the Hobbs Museum in Suffolk. So that would be, that would be cool. If you're going to get into this hobby, always have a five gallon bucket with you so you can collect what you find and the trash you find. And always try to have a plan for your finds. People have used the water as a way to get rid of things and they don't think anyone's ever going to find it until magnet fishers. <laughs>